West Texas weather. It's raining, it's gonna snow, and we might have a tornado. But, mm, we still have woodworking to do. So we're gonna do that, and uh, maybe have a few beers, and try not to uh, get electrocuted. All right, here we go. Welcome back, people, to the best woodworking channel on YouTube. Probably not. So anyway, what are we doing today? doing a popsicle stick bowl because I was feeling ambitious and I had the glue gun and a lot of scrap that I can't get rid of. It seems like the more I use, the more it just builds up and decided I'm going to build me a popsicle stick bowl with some resin because that total boat is amazing. So I went to down to the dollar store, got these popsicle sticks that I've had laying around for a little bit and took the hot glue gun and thought it'd be a good idea just to overlap them, make them look I don't know, avant-garde and just stacked everywhere. So got that all glued up, got tired of gluing up all the sides. I was running out of room and just decided to glue the bottoms and just throw them in there nonchalantly, giving zero dams about anywhere they went because I was like, it's going in resin anyway, so it's not even a big deal. So once we got all that glued up on there, and man, I burnt myself with a damn glue gun several damn times. Poured all that epoxy, no dye in the epoxy this time, going straight regular color. And how about that West Texas weather before the video started? It's been raining a lot, which we definitely need, but I have to mow the lawn now. Anyway, so we got the rest of it kind of poured into the blank and everything's going good so far. But if you've watched this channel for any uh, number of videos, you know that's not going to last. So here we go. Got it out of the pressure pot. Again, disclaimer, do not set up your pressure pot the way mine is set up. Looking good on the casting. Really happy about the way it turned out. Got the face plate screwing that thing back in there. I'm doing great up to this point. Nothing's going to go wrong. Putting it on my Nova Midi Lathe Comet 2. Looking good so far. But here comes disaster. Got those carbide tools. Working the back end. Trying to make a tannin out of it. And everything's going pretty smooth up into this point. But I can sense something in the force that is about to just not go my way. But, nope, there it is. So then, once the blank kind of fell off the lathe, I uh, just went back with this high-grade freaking Harbor Freight sander, which is a good sander, by the way. Don't poo-poo on Harbor Freight. Some of us basic woodworkers, we got to start somewhere. So, took some 15-minute epoxy, 5-minute epoxy, and just added i put a shit ton of this stuff on there this time because i didn't want it to detach so put it in the vise got it glued up everything's going back to normal felt pretty confident about this time and then we just went back to trying to make a tannin for this uh particular blank and this part went really really smooth didn't have any issues with this part the whole hard part is actually getting it on the lathe and i really oh look at all that getting some good uh, material off initially and then we just took it reversed it my I'm gonna need a new lathe soon I can I can already sense it we'll talk about that a little bit later but so once we got the tannin formed on now we're just working that back end of it and just working material off, getting some good shavings I love the way the shavings come off that's probably my favorite part about editing these videos is getting all those smooth shavings off of the material so we're just getting into the basic bowl shape I was Thinking initially about doing a top of it, uh, a pot top, uh, but I was like, let's just do, keep it real basic uh, and and just do a cup. And it really doesn't turn it out into like a pot. It's more like just a glorified cup. Getting good shavings, just getting in there, taking off the material, taking off that top part that we initially had on it, and everything's going pretty smooth so far. And then this part took freaking forever. I didn't want to take the sawzall and like take off the tannin like I do in some of the other videos but this part just took freaking forever uh, but we eventually got that taken care of so this was the most interesting part of the build uh, gouging everything out uh, the problem necessarily wasn't the fact of t stripping the material it's that the carbide tools that I do have are they're miniature tools not designed for deep gouging uh, so once we got about halfway into the uh, pot, I couldn't even see. That's the problem with this particular angle when I'm uh, trying to video is just it's hard to get those good angles in there where you can kind of see what I'm doing and stripping. That's the cat in the background if you heard a big loud meow. But anyway, stripping all the material out with these uh, gouges that aren't that deep 
or that long is another problem. And then the other big reason why they fly out of my hand half the time is because they're short, so short and I'm six foot two and everything just kind of over grips. But here's, you know, this is a, probably a better angle of what I'm trying to do. Uh, and you can see like, you know, if you look where my hands are, how little these chisels actually are. And the banjo is danger close to the lip of that pot. And uh, I'm just lucky it didn't catch and freaking ruin the edge, which would have super sucked. So one more angle. By now, I'm I'm too deep, man. I'm too deep. And trying to take off all this material. And I'm just like, I'm going. This is turning out really well. And I don't want to, like, totally lose the bowl. But up until this point, we're just working on the edge now. I really didn't like the edge that I put on this. I wanted a more sharper edge. But there were small little chips that I was trying to get off. And I was just like, you know, at this you know level of the game, I'm just trying to cut my losses and not destroy the, uh, the actual blank. So I was like, ah, curved edge won't be that bad. So here's a little bit, you know, closer view. And for some reason, my damn camera zooms in for no damn reason. I don't know why. You can see the chips that were right there. But overall, getting a lot of good material off of the, off of the pot. And... It would have looked a lot better with a top, but uh, I didn't have enough material. So here we are. We got it all gouged, sanding it right here. Uh, it's looking really good. Those micro mesh pads I really, really like. They really just allow for a better, uh, smoother look and finish. So we took that flitz, hit it with the flitz, getting everything polished up real good. And you can see my hand in the bowl in the pot, and you can tell it's really, really good. So... Once we did that, hit it back with some wood wax that I love so damn much. Everything's looking really good, and I'm super excited because I'm like, oh my god, this actually fucking worked. And man, look how cool that looks. It looks damn amazing. Now, it was raining here in Texas where I was at, so didn't get the best uh, view of the pot when it was done, only because the sun shining through it made it look really good. But hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next project. Hope you guys are out there building really cool stuff. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next project. Peace. Okay, so project is finally done. It only flew off the lathe one time, and I blame myself because even before I got into that, I knew already what was going to happen. So, here it is. The epoxy popsicle stick bowl pot whatever the hell you want to call it look how translucent that thing is let me get out of the way because i'm just ruining this because it's so cool but look at that pretty fucking cool i really it's not oblong it looks that way because there's a chunk of wood in the bottom but it actually looks pretty damn neat uh, I need to obviously get some longer uh, chisels because I could have done deeper and I could have gone deep I could have gone so deep but uh, the chisels and just the whole setup wouldn't allow me to do that so just cut my losses made something cool and really happy the way it turned out I say that in every fucking video I'm really happy the way it turned out but it looks really cool so hope you like the video something better something unique just putting stuff in resin and you get some pretty cool results from it so Every uh, project is an at-bat, so hope you liked it. Hope you got something out of it. I've got to go. I've been out here too damn long. I'll see you guys in the next project. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next project. Bye!